Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 24, and today we are talking all about the latest reveal from the new Superman movie. The home of Martha, Jonathan, and Clark Kent has been revealed. And honestly, I'm not that impressed by it. And when I said that on Twitter, wow, did the hate comments come flying in. So before we look at our new Kent farm, let's go through past versions of Clark's Smallville home. Firstly, Superman. Superman the movie, which looked like this, the classic farmhouse look that most imagine when thinking of Kent Farm, and I absolutely love it. Then we go to Smallville, one that many do connect with. It's a busier farm and closer together, but still has that iconic feel to it. Then to Man of Steel, which once again has that iconic feel to it, but it's unique in its own right. And finally to Superman and Lois, which is my favourite farm of them all. Unique, but still feels very classic to Superman's upbringing. Which leads us to our brand new Kent farm, which looks like this. Now, we don't know if this is the final look, they may make changes to it, but this is what we can see right now. And personally, I don't love it. It is a farmhouse, and as many have already said to me multiple times, this is accurate to a farmhouse in Kansas. But I don't know about you, but whenever I have thought of Superman growing up on a farm, this isn't the farm I imagine at all. Now, we have to remember that these aren't official professional photos, but rather photos from a phone, and like I said, they may make changes to it when it comes to filming or in post-production, so I'm not stating a definitive opinion. It's just based off what we can see right now, and that may change when the final product comes out. But when I think of Superman's home in Smallville, this is what I actually imagine. A two-story wooden house with a nice porch and a big red barn next to it. And maybe they will build the big red barn, and I'm expecting they will, but the house itself is actually a bungalow, so very different to the Ken farm I always think of. But at the end of the day, it's just a house. Sure, I would like it to look nicer and more like the classic Kent farm, as I don't find this new image recognisable as Kent farm, but it's not that big of a deal. However, when I said I wasn't the biggest fan of it on Twitter, it seemed like a lot of people really hated that opinion. I just casually put out there, doesn't look the best in all honesty. Which doesn't mean that I hate it or think it means the movie is going to be terrible or anything like that. Just that I don't think the house looks great and was hoping for a bit of a nicer design. But by the reaction in the comments, you would have thought I said we needed to blow the house up and boycott the movie. Hundreds of comments attacking me for something that literally doesn't matter. And I noticed two correlations with the comments. The first is that many assumed that my comments was an attempt at trying to get the Snyderverse back, which just baffles me because it's just a house. And people asked me what did I expect, and I showed them this farmhouse image and said something closer to this. And what was hilarious to me was that the Snyder haters came flying into that post and said the Snyderverse is dead and things similar to that. And why did I find that so funny? Well, because this is a screenshot from Superman and Lois and not from the Snyderverse. Meaning these haters are so obsessed with Snyder that they see desaturated colours and in instantly assume that it must be Snyder, and so it is instantly bad. It's just insane to see how fractured and insecure some fans are. I'm sure it's just a social media thing, but you really can't praise or criticise anything without being accused of being the extreme. And what confused me about this situation was that because I had a slightly negative opinion on this new Kent farm, then that instantly meant I was a hater and wanted the film to fail, which couldn't be further from the truth. I thought making 24 episodes so far of a web series dedicated to following the new Superman movie would show that I'm looking forward to the movie, but obviously not to some. And the second correlation I noticed was the huge overreaction from DC fans to my comment. My thought process when posting that tweet was, I don't think the farmhouse looks amazing, and I tweeted my very simple and what I thought was a chilled out comment. I then went to the gym and didn't give the tweet a second thought came back to Twitter a few hours later, and I had an onslaught of hate. I felt like this meme right here. 
I had no idea people would be that upset and defensive of me not loving a house. And what was ironic is that many of the comments also said that I was overreacting and that it's just a house, yet their comments themselves to my opinion was an overreaction itself. The best way I can show it is this scene from Anger Management. I'm Adam Sandler in this situation, just asking for a headset and the comments are the air hostess. Could I maybe get that headset, please? Do not raise your voice to me, sir. I wasn't raising my voice. Okay, just calm down. I am calm, I just want my headset. That scene perfectly represents how I was feeling in that moment. I was not angry or hating at all. Just thought the house could look a little nicer, and yet the comments were acting as if I wanted the film to be cancelled. You can always guarantee that on Twitter, any opinion you have will be taken to the extreme, and with DC fans, they will always be extremely defensive no matter what you're talking about. So that combination is never a good mix. So am I happy with this? This new Kent farm. Not really. It's okay. For me, it's like the new Superman suit, unfortunately. It's okay, but nothing amazing, and I would make clear changes to it, but I'm not losing sleep over it. And both images weren't directly taken from the film themselves either. And that's another thing you have to remember. The Superman suit was a behind the scenes shot, and the Kent farm photo was taken on a phone probably quickly as they were driving by. Both of these things could look very different in the actual movie. For all we know, they could have been adding an extra level to the house in post-production that we wouldn't have even noticed if we didn't get set photos. And as for the suit, most costumes have some form of adjustments in post, such as removing the large wrinkles or adjusting the colour. This could all just be a huge overreaction, and when the movie comes out, we could all be saying how people really need to wait and judge the final product. But we also have a right to judge what we see right in front of us. And and that's what I'm doing now. I'm hoping I'm wrong and Kent Farm looks great in the movie, but I'm judging it off of what we can see so far, and I'm not loving it right now. But make sure to let me know your thoughts on the first image of our new Kent Farm in the comments below. Now, on the IMDb page for Superman, Tom Lowes, an osteopath, has been added to the crew and has been assigned to Millie Alcock, who is our new Supergirl, meaning this hiring would confirm that Supergirl will be appearing in the new Superman movie. So it looks like the movie is going to be filled with quite a few heroes in it, and I think Gunn may have some real difficulty in juggling all those characters together whilst keeping it focused on Superman. He has said in the past that he hates cameos for the sake of cameos, and characters will only appear in his movies if they benefit the story. So Supergirl, along with the other added heroes, should only be there to help tell Superman's story. And I really like that Gunn said that, but actions speak louder than words. So we will have to see for ourselves if the cameos in the movie serve the story or serve promoting other DC projects in the future. They can do both at the same time, but Gunn needs to make sure they serve either just the story or promotes future DC projects as well as serving the story. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon, so until then, have a great day. Bye!